Now, for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share where you were born? I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And care to share where you were raised as well? Milwaukee, Wisconsin, on the east. And does it get any more specific than the east? Not really. And still reside in that area today? Yeah, every time I hit the, every time I go to the city, first time, first, first stop. But there was an official time when you move out from the east from, of Milwaukee? Yeah, from Milwaukee. I born when I'm in Milwaukee, always on the east. What age in your life when you officially left Milwaukee? 23. And care to share your current age at this point? 23. And your birthday while you're at it, the month and the day perhaps? Jane, July 16th. 2000. And what ages were you raised specifically on the east of Milwaukee for? Like, um... Rough estimate. Fucking... Nine... To now. Now, what was that really like? Growing up in East Milwaukee for you. Shit, like beating niggas' ass, um, walking around, shit. Um, I didn't really play no sports. It was just like playing with the kid, like on some young shit, just like connecting with everybody from down there. The East Side was different, so it's like. It's like one big ass family. <clears throat> Why no sports for you back in those days? Um, like, I tried it. I tried like basketball, football, but it was, it wasn't something I was interested in. Now, during your time in East Milwaukee, what was the bottom point for you during your upbringing there? What was your lowest point or most negative moment growing up in that area for you? Um, the most lowest points was like when I do some shit and then like I gotta um, like be gone for a couple of days or some shit. Like that's where I always resign to. But like I do some crazy shit, then I gotta be like everybody know like you gotta go for a couple of days or you just don't even pull up for a couple of days because you know like you crazy as hell or or just to the point where it was like people die and shit, all type of shit like. Now speaking on the subject of death, mentally. Has this been something you sought any professional help over? One more time. Mentally, has this been something you sought any professional help over in regards to death and things of that nature? Your bottom point, things of that nature. Like, you used to mean, like, did I get help from? Like a mental health professional of some sort? Did you ever see one of those, perhaps? No, uh, like. When I was in jail, I was trying to get meds and shit for no reason. So like, I probably talked to the um, psych and shit, talking talking about like, no, like, real. I really used to be like seeing my dad and shit when I used to be like sleep. Sometimes I used to have dreams about him and shit that he was like alive and shit. But um, but yeah, like not no real like psychic none of that shit. Why not? Some people do. I just felt like um, I really didn't need like the help. I got over it eventually. Now, you mentioned your dad here. What age were you when he passed? I think 
twenty one nineteen twenty yeah, like twenty one. I lost track like ever since then like I've been going fucking crazy. My pops ain't really want me like popping perks and shit. Like I never like really like got into it like that like that because he ain't want me popping perks. Cause he just be saying that shit hair on. But like ever since he died, like I've been going hard on them bitches. I'm going hard on the music too though. And you mentioned jail here. Care to share uh, where you were incarcerated back in those days? Um. Like when? What you wait? You mentioned there was a time in your life when you were trying to get meds and things of that nature, and you would see maybe like some psych person <laughs> while you were incarcerated. You mentioned you use the phrase jail. Didn't know if you wanted to share what jail you were stationed at at the time when that took place and things of that nature. Oh yeah, I was in um, the county, HOC Milwaukee. Shit, a lot of um, a lot of niggas talking and shit, talking too much, bro. Those charges you were facing at that time in your life, was that something that you were able to beat? Um, it was like, I was on probation, so I did like my probation time in jail. So it was just like, um, over and done with after I did the time. Care to share what charge that stemmed from? Um, no. Nah. And when it comes to the passing of your father, is that something that mentally you've overcome at this point, or is that something you're still dealing with? I feel like I'm still dealing, still dealing with it, because like when he first, before he died, it was like a whole relationship, and then he kept me like mentally, like, oh, you know, you're not supposed to do this, you know do this, do that. And then like, when that shit like went away, I knew that I lost something. Like, it was definitely a loss. But I just, um, I just try to like keep him in my head, make sure I'm doing the shit that I know. Cause I felt like he know everything. He knew everything that was right and shit. So I just keep, like I try to do everything right in the name of him type shit. How much of your music career did he get a chance to see develop? Like, um, he's seen like the beginning, like, but, um, like before he died, I was telling him I was trying to get monetized and shit. It was a thousand subscribers to get monetized and I was at like 500, but I was like stuck at 500. And like when he died, like the next month, I was like um, monetized and shit. I used to be hustling, hustling. So by me getting monetized, it's like I got a like actual legal way to get money. And is that a reference to the platform of YouTube? Hell yeah. Now for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, Care to share your channel name on YouTube as well? Certified Chopper on YouTube. Subscribe me. Now, since the passing of your father, you end up signing a record deal at some point with Signal Records slash Columbia. Uh, he didn't get a chance to see that. Yeah, I don't know if like, and that's what's crazy. Like, I don't know for sure. Like, if he believed in, believed in that, or like knew it could have happened. But it's just like all the crazy shit that happened to me. Like, it had to happen for me to get to where I am. Like cases and shit like that. Like. Now, hypothetically asking you here, what do you think he would think if he was able to see 
the record deal signing, and how far you've gotten in the music industry up until this point? Uh, he'll be proud. He'll be proud for sure. Like, as of right now, like, right now, he'll be disappointed. <laughs> he'll be disappointed because, like, I be, I be, like, doing some crazy shit. But everybody on the road to doing some shit, like, I be. But we still, I'm still leveling up and shit. So that's just me telling myself, like, you gotta get this where, this place, this place, hiring my standards and shit. And just speaking mentally once again, even though this is still something you're dealing with, the passing of your father in particular, do you want any professional help with that? Mentally speaking. Uh, no, no, not really. Now, when it comes to you being raised in East Milwaukee, how were you able to survive that upbringing? There are some that don't make it. Um, like, what was the key for you? What was the secret? Um, like, keep your mouth shut. Like, don't be too friendly. I was just basically like, I survived. I was just like, kept that bitch on me. Definitely gotta, um, you gotta move with the right people though. Like, a lot of these niggas, they don't see that it's a future. So like, it's a lot of shit that can take you off, take you out the streets and shit. Like, you can. Smoke a nigga and then go to jail for the shit, or you can get smoked or get towed on or whatever. But there are some people who say things like, don't know if I'll make it to see the age of 18, 21, 25, for example. Did you have any of these thoughts yourself growing up in East Milwaukee? Hell yeah, like, <clears throat> like before I signed my deal and shit, like, I was on, like, plenty of bullshit. Like, I was waiting. I be, I'm the type of nigga that be waiting for a nigga to fuck up so I can fuck him up. But by the people, like, I've been working with in my team, the people I've been hanging with, it's just, like, showing me that it's a future and then, like, showing me a whole different way. Cause like, I'm I'm definitely scarred from like the past, but now I'm just like knowing like a whole different way. I get back like, get back to it though. If niggas really wanted me to. Was there a numeric figure you didn't think you might quite see? Explain numeric figure. Gave you some examples like. Some people saying they might not see age 18 or 21 or 25. Was there a number that you didn't think you might quite see? A number you might think no. you might pass away by, perhaps? <laughs> no, hell no. Like, by, by me being in the streets and shit, I, when I used to be in the streets and shit, I used to just like, that shit got to me. That shit got to me, like, I got shot at one time and shit, and then it was just like, these niggas ain't finna take take me. I'm, I'm gonna be the one taking niggas, like, fuck it. I'm cool. Shot at, but never hit. Never. But, like, guns is not nothing you should really, like, play with, because, like, if you just shooting guns, like, you don't want no bullets like getting shot at you. So like, don't just be shooting guns just to be shooting guns for the audience. <laughs> and just shot at one time in your life. Uh, like it was another time, but it wasn't like it wasn't like no other shit. Like he was like on some goofy shit. Like the nigga tried to we riding. He think we on his ass. He think we on his ass. 
he blow at us. One shot. I'm like, what the fuck? We got a pound in the car to switch in the car and shit. I just get on his ass, rap at his ass. He didn't even know, like, you shooting at niggas. Niggas got whole 50 rounds in his bitch. Like, what is you shooting at, bro? That other event where you were shot at, were you the intended target? How close were you two getting shot? Was it, could you hear the bullet whiz by you type of thing? Were you, was it that close? It was like... Was it point blank range, perhaps? It was like two, two more seconds of me not getting in the door. Like, I got in the door. But two more seconds, if like if the door was locked, I wouldn't have, like, yeah. Now be that as it may, knowing what you know now, hypothetically speaking, once again, what would you have said to your younger self back then, if anything? Um... I would have uh, told myself like to hang around like different people like with brighter futures and then different, better intentions. Now on that note, on the opposite end of the spectrum, what was the top point for you during your upbringing in East Milwaukee? What was your highest point or most positive moment? growing up in that area for you? Like, uh, like bitches and shit driving past, playing my music. Like, I can just be like walking through, walking through the block serving or just like playing and shit. And then it'd be people playing my music. And it was like different hearing, like people just driving by playing my music than hearing like somebody else shit playing. And they have no idea you're in the vicinity when they're playing. <laughs> no, like some people like start catching on and shit and just start pulling up on me and shit. But um, yeah, like motherfuckers and not even know most of the time, not even know. Even if, like I was driving through Milwaukee, you would hear that shit. What's that feeling like? It's inspiring, inspiring, cause. Like, especially when I find out, like, what song is they playing. Like, if it's an old song or it's a song that I didn't really like or no shit, some shit like that. Now, anything else you want to mention about your upbringing or question you weren't asked, people want to know about it. Motherfucker keep asking me, am I serious? <laughs> like, am I serious? Am I serious? Do I be, like, they be like, are you serious? Like, I don't even know how to answer that. What are you talking about? Do I be serious? <laughs> like, yeah, they got me questioning myself. Am I serious? Anything else in regards to your upbringing? Nah.